Ask Zendler. Now in this workshop what we're going to look at is privileges for user roles. So this is a question that's been asked is what access do different levels get, different user role levels get inside of Zendler. So I've done this little slide here and we're going to start to work through this and I'll show you what we've got. So let's start at the beginning we have different roles you can assign to a contact on your site currently the roles are owner site admin instructor assistant and assistants do not have access to your financials okay so you also have support and that covers people management affiliates students and leads and you can also assign custom roles to for example like a student and an affiliate you can also have multiple roles into one depending on the plan you are on okay so let us move forward and have a look at the first one which is owner privileges now this is you this is you who've created the site and as you can see here we you have access to everything um, except for course purchase now you can purchase you've already got access to those because you've created the course so that's kind of the only thing so you've got absolute access to everything the owner is the person who created the site the owner can access all areas and cannot be deleted all right guys so you cannot be deleted right so let's move on to site admin now, this is kind of going down in order of um, sort of privileges okay so site admin has basically everything that you do as an owner but he can't touch integrations he can't go to the Zenla plan to purchase so he can't upgrade your site from maybe pro to premium and um, he cannot touch the course purchases he cannot do a course purchase um, he can obviously as a student and he cannot access API keys for the Zenla API keys um, the part the pro program management or the sub site management but he can do pretty much everything else. So the site, admin, site admin can access all sections of your site except for integration, Zenla plan purchase, API key, part of the program or sub sites, okay? So that is the next one down. So they've got a lot of ability, but they can't touch things like the integration and stuff like that. So moving to the next one, what we have is instructor privileges. So if you've got an instructor working for you, then what they'll be able to do is view the dashboard, they'll have course management, be able to actually create courses, and uh, they'll be able to view those reports, and they'll be able to have the people management side of things and access to live as well. But what they won't have access to is marketing funnels, broadcast, site settings, integrations, obviously the Zenda plan purchase, course purchase, API, community management part of the program sub site management so an instructor can only manage courses and students created by them an instructor can also view reports and there's more information on instructors to be found in this link now I'm supplying this uh, template for you guys so you can have it and have it on hand um, to know exactly what the privilege for user roles are so let's move through, through to the next one now, which is assistant. So an assistant has course management rights, marketing funnels, broadcast site settings, also people management, community, community management, but they haven't got access to the dashboard, integrations, reports, so your financials, and Zenla plan purchase, course purchase, API keys part of the program management, subsite settings and live. So notice how important things are like the APR, the um, you know the plan purchase, the part of the program management, subsite, that's really for you as an owner. So bear that in mind. So an assistant has the same role as a site admin except for financial data. So they get no, uh, they can't look at the financials if they're an assistant level, okay? Quite important for you guys to know this. So let's move forward. So support privileges so support privilege is someone who's just going to look after the people management side but that's it so they haven't got access to anything else so support role can only manage people sections all right so hopefully that's clear let's move forward to the next one this is an affiliate privileges now affiliate again they've got no access to admin sections but they can see the sale and the course purchases um, for their area 
okay so they've got course purchased area that they can look at and see their um, see if they made any sales so that's the affiliate so moving forward now we've got the student now the students are probably going to have the most students um, hopefully uh, so they have got uh, basically access to their course purchase and everything else is locked out for them the student has no access to admin sections but can purchase courses so moving forward we have lead privileges now these are people that you might have got through um, an import of an email list or through uh, maybe a marketing funnel um, video funnel you might have them marked as leads now they haven't purchased the course so a lead has no access to admin sections but can purchase course leads cannot log into the site they can sign up to be a student okay so they are leads for you to send out emails to to get them to buy your courses in which case they become a lead and they become a student when they're a student they can go in and access the student privileges so that is all we have on the user roles uh, it's pretty there's quite a lot of them just make sure that you look through this make sure you can download this as a PDF to view and um, yeah these are the user roles that uh, Zenla offers uh, at this time.